What's up guys, I'm Rob Landis, and um, one of the questions I get a lot on YouTube is how old I was when I started or how long I've been playing the violin for. So I thought I'd put together a little video um, showing you all the practice I did as a kid to get to where I am today. So I was three years old when I got my first violin for Christmas. My grandma gave it to me. So here I am, I think I'm awesome. But that's only because my grandma is playing the piano behind me. You notice I'm playing the same note the whole time. She's probably four, about four years old here. Practicing for about 15 minutes a day. There's my mom. So I'm five or six here and I'm playing, these are called fiddle tunes. This is where I got a little bit of country playing in. All right, seven years old here, probably practicing 30 minutes a day. Now check this out. Drill is done. That's an M&M. &M. Back to work. Okay, you notice the date on this? This is Halloween. My mom probably made me practice before I could go out trick-or-treating. Remember this song took me forever to learn. This was so hard. Hooray for Robert. Take a bow. Thanks, Dad. Good job. Okay, I don't know who dressed this kid, but this sweater is uh, horrendous. This was one of my first recitals, probably eight years old here, practicing about 40 minutes a day. So here's my dad, and he plays the viola. This is my first solo recital. I was 10 years old, practicing 45 minutes a day. Tell me if you recognize this song. That was a theme from Schindler's List. That was the f I heard myself on a recording play this, and that was the first time I started to like the violin. It was always a chore before this. Okay. Now, this is the very first time I got to play with an orchestra. Here I am tuning. I was so nervous, I only tuned one string. You're supposed to tune all four. I was scared out of my mind. My dad is also playing in the orchestra here. I was 11 years old here, played for a school concert. There are about a thousand kids my age watching right now. Okay, I don't know what happened to my hair in this, but this is horrendous. It's a little out of tune. I was 13 years old there, and my teacher was having me practice 13, excuse me, three hours a day, six days a week. And um, long story short, I ended up soloing with more orchestras, winning some competitions. Um, I got a bachelor's and master's degrees in music performance. But at the end of grad school, I started getting discouraged with music and uh, gave it up for a few years. I went into sales 
it paid the bills and um, it wasn't until I saw a video on YouTube um, where I saw a violinist playing with a loop pedal and I got my own loop station as you can see here and I made my very first video on YouTube this is a cover of Radioactive and then came Hallelujah This was the second video I made, and when I released this, it got a couple of million views within a month, and I decided to quit my sales job and do music full time. I signed with my record label, Arc Studios Media Group, and um, they've helped me be able to support myself since then. And it's because of you guys on YouTube that you've supported me and let me make this my, my career. Um, just one last thing, a lot of people very kindly tell me that I'm, I'm talented or I'm gifted and while I appreciate that, I want people to know that um, being talented is not like, it's not like winning the lottery. I wanted to show you that it takes a lot of work and dedication and sacrifice and great teachers and great parents and, and an incredible support system um, to be able to do what I'm fortunate to do now. So. Um, I want you guys to uh, comment below and let me know what it is that you, uh, what your craft is, what you spend hours doing, what what you what you want to accomplish, and uh, know that if you if you put the put the time in and sacrifice, um, you can be successful. See ya.